so so the social media or the YouTube channel mm. alone can have a great impact because oh. you are not changing just few people. Mm. You are changing a lot. Thank you. You are changing a lot. Yeah, you like I said, and I I think the African countries, African president should learn from this. We should open our borders to each other. Thank you. We should open our borders. Sometimes when I I watch you. Uh, displaying your displeasure of how you were restricted. Yeah, and it's sad. Like as Africans, we they restrict us from going to our our own countries. Countries, you know, because I, I think if you open borders for Africans, we will start mingling, start investing. investing. Because when I'm going to a country like Nigeria, and I don't need to even carry my passport. All I need is an ID card, and I go to Nigeria. You, you think I won't spend my money there? You spend your money there. Thank you buy food, you buy water, Thank you, you, you uh, uh, go, uh, book a hotel. Mm. All those money, where and, is it and, going? And we are not the ones who even created these borders. The borders were not created by us. And this is what I keep on saying. Let's break these borders. Let's remove it. I'm not saying we should remove it and throw it somewhere. We should just allow it, free it, movement. Imaginary borders. Exactly. Remove um, these borders so that Africans can move within Africa and trade in Africa. That's it. Your last advice to the youth before we come to your last question, the question that you've been asking people. Uh, Today I'm going to ask uh, you that question. <laughs> so your advice to the youth. <laughs> I'll say that nothing good comes easy. Nothing good comes easy. It takes a lot of tears. Hard work. A lot of hard work. A lot of consistency. And stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. When the storm comes, be ready to hold an anchor that will keep you tight so that you'll keep moving. It's not easy being a youth trying to survive in Africa. In Africa. I'm not going to lie to you that ah, it's rosy. It's not. But believe me, if you sit down, work so hard, move around with the right people, you'll make it. You see, when you want to invest, you'll be so lonely. If you start working yeah. on yourself, you'll be so lonely yeah. because your only people that you surround yourself with will be people that think like you. So if you find out that this guy doesn't think like you, you kick him out. You do what? You kick him out. <laughs> so you have less friends. Yes. And stick to the people uh, who can help I you mean, grow. It's not about the guys that comes and say, let's go to club, let's go find this woman. You know, we used to, I mean, those days when I was in school, we used to be like, oh, let's go for this woman and stuff like that. But when I started making money. Now you have, you have a focus. You don't you know think about, you, you, you don't even, even get a chance to think about those things. Because Trust me. Every day you are busy on your journey. Exactly. So surround yourself with the right people. People. And they will help you achieve your goals. Now, it comes to your own question. If you have the chance. To change one thing in Africa. To, to change one thing in Africa. <laughs> but before we come to Africa, if you have the chance to change one thing <laughs> in Ghana, ah. what would that be? <laughs> before we come to Africa. This why I have, I've, I've thrown you your own question. If I had the chance to change one, one thing, thing in Ghana, Ghana. I will pull down MPP NDC. You pull down M MPP NDC. I, I will, I, I wish these parties don't exist because those two parties have nothing good for us. They have nothing good for the country. Sure. Yeah, it's more like who is there right now? Let me finish the money before I give it to the next, next person. person. The next person comes, oh, what can I do to finish the money that is there? And that's it. At the end of the day, the same party divides us. Even if I see something which is not good that i think we need to address it as soon as you speak up this guy is opposition don't you think that is because we don't have a national agenda that's that is what i'm why saying we are being misled that's by what, these two parties. exactly because i believe even if the third party should come in and one party drop or these two parties drop another two set of party comes i'm not i'm not even a big fan of parties okay because i believe that democracy doesn't even change anything so democrat like we just need listen i'm not i'm i'm not a big fan of this party systems what i'm a big fan of somebody one person who cares somebody who is so patriotic 
and is willing to change the country. I don't know if you understand me. I understand. One you. person. One person. Who is ready. Let's play one top. Okay. And that one top make like surrounded by, let's say, MPP, NDC. Let them work we together. All come, come together. Then we get one top and this person will help build the country. That one, we in the next four years, we are not thinking about voting again. Voting again. But if there's an accountability that that guy there knows that what he's doing is not right, he knows that we have the power to kick him out. So what do we, uh, what, what um, how to put it? One chance opportunity to change in Africa, what will that be? I will break down all the borders. You break down all the bodies for Africans to travel within Africa, invest in Africa, live in Africa, and marry in, and marry in Africa, and <laughs> enjoy in Africa, and school in Africa. Yes, I mean, if there are no better schools in Ghana, you can go to schools in Nigeria. See, I don't want to talk too much, but what I want to say is that I see a united Africa as a powerful tool, tool. that the whole world might depend on only if we get our shit right. my uh, lovely uh, viewers and uh, subscribers and if uh, this is your first time of watching this video this is uh, what Maya his real name is uh, uh, Kobina, Akon. Kobina Akon I have one Akon in my chat I used to disturb him oh nice <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Wadimaya. Uh, he's a, a YouTuber, not just any YouTuber, but uh, through network, I've been able to have a time with him, and uh, I really appreciate it. And um, one thing I've picked from this interview is that nothing comes easy. No. You have to really work hard. And um, secondly, you need to know what you want to really go into. We need to change our own story or we need to change the story that has been told and we give our own truth out there yeah and um don't forget to like subscribe, subscribe his channel and my channel as well yeah. and share so that all everyone in africa will get to know the truth yep that we can move from Ghana to Nigeria to uh, Madagascar. Which one is the, the South Africa? Yeah. Morocco, without, Egypt. Without visa. Without visa. Let's make this happen. And let's see how strong. So that no European or no Eastern uh, powers or whatever powers will come and dominate us. Let me tell you something funny. The British don't need visa to go to South Africa. They don't need visa. But as a Ghanaian, I need a visa to go to South Africa. That, that, that is sad. <laughs> that is sad. So, so do you know that in Africa, uh, an American, an European mm -hmm. passport is powerful to travel to most African countries than your passport. We need to change this now. And, 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 and Europeans don't need visa to go to any European country. And that system was created by the African Union, Kwame Nkrum, led by Kwame Nkrumah, and the European adapted that system. And in Africa, it's not like that. So, where, who, who, whoever is there making those policies, start changing it now. Thank you very much.